I want to demonstrate how I do a one-handed tie now because I feel like parts of it are a little more efficient than the one that I put posted already. It doesn't matter which hand you tie with, you, it's the same principle, so do whichever one that's more comfortable with you. For me, I've been using the left hand, so that's what I'm used to. So this here is a, a deep dermal stitch that I've taken, and I um, don't just pull out the excess suture with your needle holder and yank it up in the air. I did that when I first started and the surgeon was next to me and actually hit him in the head with it. So you want this in the field where you can see it. So you take your stitch, which is probably long on this side. I like to put it with palm down and I pinch it between my index finger and my thumb. And then my little finger is going to be next to the incision. It's not really, if you can't remember that, which a lot of the uh, residents and students that I teach find that confusing, you can lay it across your palm, just as, as long as it's in this direction. Then I want to use my little finger and these two fingers to give it some tension. I take this hand and I crab walk out the excess. You want to tie up in the air, not down near here where you're going to be fighting the patient's body. So I turn my palm now, I lay it across, and what's important, I'm stretching here and here, what's important is to see that X. You want your hand that's doing the throw with the suture underneath the other one. So now I'm keeping the stretch here. I'm going to take my middle finger and dive in next to my thumb, catch it between these two. And that's at the beginning where I used to lose it because it's hard. Then you grab it between your middle finger and your thumb, again at the tip. But don't switch fingers back to the index. And I'll show you why in a minute. You might be faster at the beginning, but in the long run, you'll be more efficient if you don't. So it's better to get efficient first and proficient and then become work on the speed. So if you notice when I, I'm going to dive under here with my index finger. And if you notice when I pull it, it pulls the incision, incision together. So you kind of want to pull parallel, dive under with my index and over with my right hand. And then I'm going to pull and you're going to tie parallel with the incision because that's going to make it come closer together. Now that I've left it at my index, what this has done is set me up for my next throw. So now I go across and you see that X again. Again, I'm going to dive where my thumb is holding it, catch it between there. And this time I'm going to put my three fingers on top of the, of the suture. And I'm keeping that tension that's going to tie it tightly. Once you get the second one, it's tight. Now what that's done, I'm back to my first one. So turn my palm, get the X, go under, catch it, pull it, dive under with the index finger. Pull it tight over the index finger with the X. Go next to my fingers holding the suture. Dive over with the three. So eventually you'll be doing this. And you can see how